Mo's Garage. Good afternoon everyone and welcome back to Jimbo's Garage. Well, today I got another wrought iron project that we're gonna work on. And what it is is basically a uh, small rectangular frame. Uh, I'm gonna build it out of inch and a half square tube, 095 wall. I've got some 58 square tube pickets and it's roughly gonna be about 10 feet long and about 18 inches tall. And I'm gonna have three legs that are gonna be Oh, about 18 to 20 inches long and those will be going into a concrete footing and that's what's going to hold this thing between this block wall that I'm that I have and a small planter wall uh, for a better illustration let me draw you a picture and I'll show you what that looks like and then we'll get started on this project okay so rather me try to explain to you what we're doing I'm, I'm going to try to draw a picture right here now I'm, I'm not an artist by any means but uh, and I'm having to reach around the camera here so nothing's going to be looking real good but uh, it'll should give you some idea of what we're doing what we have here is this is the ground level right here we've got a slope over here uh, we have an existing uh, six foot high fence that goes along here like this and the slats on it like this and then we have an existing um, I don't know, kind of like a planter wall um, made out of block and it uh, you know got a footing like this or something and, and that's kind of what we got so we got this open space right here and uh, basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill this open space uh, this uh, this piece of a rod iron we're gonna build is gonna kind of go like this and gonna go like that I'm using inch and a half square tube 095 wall and we're gonna build a simple frame like that and then we're gonna put 58 pickets in here like this and uh, these, pick these pickets are going to be about four and a half inches on center. Uh, and then I'm going to come in about 12 inches on each side and I'm going to weld an inch and a half post um, down and then one in the center right here. And these posts are going to go into the concrete, uh, into a concrete footing. So we're just going to fill the space in with a piece of wrought iron. So that gives you some idea what we're going to do. So hope that helps you out. Let's do it. Okay, we're going to get started by uh, cutting two top and bottom rails uh, 118 inches long. We're going to cut a 45 on both ends of those and then two side rails 18 inches long and 45 on both of those. That will uh, create our rectangular frame and then the 5 8 pickets will go in between that. So let's get started doing that. My wife's sitting right over here. I know you guys can't see her, but uh, she just got scared off by uh, the flying uh, metal pieces from when I cut. Ah, she'll be back. We're going to get this outside frame tacked together so I know exactly uh, how long I need to cut these 5 8 uh, pickets in here. So let's do that. Okay, so I got my pieces right here. We're going to go ahead and uh, put everything together and I'm going to use this uh, this mag square by stronghand these things are pretty cool uh you've got a switch on it and an on and an off switch so the magnet is not magnetized until you get everything where you want it to be and once everything is where it is nice and square then you just flip the uh flip it to the on position and it locks everything nice and square and uh there you have it pretty cool Just gonna go ahead and tack these things into position. Once everything is nice and square, we'll get it welded out.
ourselves together and uh, we went ahead and uh, uh, ground down the edges. I took a flap disc and, and polished everything off. The corners and the edges looked real nice. Uh, you know, when we paint this thing, we don't want to have any welds exposed or anything like that. I want it to look nice and clean. So um, I went ahead and now we're down to the pickets. So I went ahead and calculated I need about 29 or 30 of these 5 8 pickets, about 12 and a half or 12 and a quarter inches long. So I went ahead and and cut all those out. I didn't want to bore you with a bunch of cutting. So we have them right here. Uh, the next thing is to get them installed in here. Now, now there's a number of ways of doing this. I guess in a perfect world, uh, because we're we're going to stack these things in here, and I'm going to use a two by four. Um, basically, put a two by four in here. Put a put a picket in here. Uh, another two by four. Another picket and uh, just work our way down the line right here. But uh, being this is an inch and a half square tube and these pickets are 5 8 I'm going to need to get these pickets up in the middle of the frame. So um, ideally, um, a best, the best way to do this would be probably to get a piece of 3 8 bar stock or some sort of stock and have it fit on the inside of both top and bottom side of the rails uh, and then cut out a bunch of 2x4s and just put all the pickets in here and just line everything up and go along and start tacking everything. But I don't have that scenario. Uh, um, I'm not that big of a hurry so I'm going to do like a typically do is one picket at a time. Uh, I've got uh, I've got some plate here that equals about three-eighths of an inch and I got another piece of three-eighths stock here, round stock. So we're gonna go ahead and just set those things underneath here on both sides. Got my two by four, slam a picket in here, tack it here, tack it here, and just move our way on down the line until we're complete. And I just want to tack both both top and bottom in place. Um, and then flip it over and then weld out um, probably one side flip it over weld it out again because you know warpage is going to be a factor here that you know when you start throwing all this kind of heat down here this this frame is going to want to warp a little bit so I want to minimize that as much as I can and that would be by just directing the heat evenly uh, in different areas at a time so that's what we're going to do so let's do it everything welded out I uh, got the legs welded on so the only thing left to do is just kind of clean things up a little bit of acetone and uh, get some primer some paint on it and uh, we'll have this job complete all right everybody well there you go uh, it's all primed and painted uh, it was a fun little project uh, ready for installation I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching don't forget to rate comment and subscribe for more see you next time Jimbo's Garage